this is my interpretation, I guess, of what Punk was saying, because he's continuing to be the the dog with the tail between his legs uh, every time he's out there in the ring talking to the audience. And I'm here for this. This is literally what I was just saying when he returned and what we were expecting of him to be saying and why people were taking an issue with it. And I said, I don't think that they're not thinking about why he's doing this or the, the necessity of this. So him coming out and being like kind of corny and talk about, Oh, I was kind of like in a, you know, a sullen mood, but now everybody's cheering for me and I'm so excited. I love you guys. You're so supportive, blah, blah, blah. And it feels kind of weird. It's like, no, I feel like this is like what needs to happen. He admitted to feeling uncomfortable tonight and he was talking about another time where he felt uncomfortable in the past, talking about OVW, blah, blah, blah. And since they're in Cleveland, that is where he walked out of WWE almost 10 years ago. So he talks about how he was talking with Indy Hartwell in the back and she had told him that she felt betrayed by him when he walked out. And he said that he actually understood that feeling because he felt the same way when Roddy Piper left and went to WCW. So this is where I was like, holy moly, when he actually apologized to the fans for walking out on them. And I I think I had just said that we, we needed to get to this point because people were like, I understand people aren't going to hold grudges because uh, especially with the rise of social media, you get to find out a lot of stuff about what's going on behind the scenes that you wouldn't normally know. So people were a little bit more understanding of why punk decided to leave um, 10 years, almost 10 years ago or whatever, as opposed yeah. to just being betrayed by him. But at the same time, he still did kind of betray them because he left them without notice. He left professional wrestling for a long time, never really provided an explanation, just kept crapping on the company. And he kind of crapped on the fans for a while. So I feel like this was a huge moment that might kind of go overlooked because of what happened after. But I yeah. feel like this was a shocking acknowledgement i would say no this was big this was a big moment and this is where i see a different cm punk right now this is a grown-up cm punk i saw this a little bit in aw but just with how new <clears throat> aw is in their locker room and the type of culture it is whatnot it <clears throat> punk is beyond that like he was the main dude in wwe like mm -hmm. the face but not the face you know the anti-hero face of it, WWE. yeah it was like, like john cena, cena and, CM, and punk. cm punk yeah, yeah like the rock austin like that was it so when you go down to AEW, it's a bit of a downgrade and you're gonna have these problems because you're so used to being thing so used to things being run a certain way mm -hmm. and that you miss that and i think he was burnt out in 2014 when oh, he yeah. walked away, he was burnt out from everything. Well, and the alleged like infection or whatever he had. Yeah, so it was health I mean, stuff too. Like apparently. there's a legit like issue there with the company that he had to resolve, whatnot. It's under a new regime now. And it, we we've already seen it go over our uh happen over the past few months, almost a year now, of Triple H running the show. We've had people come back because of it. I mean, Kyrie Sane mm -hmm. came back. That's a huge name mm -hmm. to come back. Johnny Gargano is being featured on Raw and not in some bullshit backstage segment where there's 15 other people. Mm -hmm. You know, he's utilizing guys that the previous regime did not know how to utilize. Punk sees this is going to come back, and now he knows where he can, one, make the most money, he already has his friends. He has his life. He's grown up. He can make his money, do business. I mean, if he's going to do business with the man he hates the most, you can do business. Money money is money. Money talks. Mm -hmm. So I see this whole, the CM Punk is a whole different person who's going to want to be the mentor now. And that's why, why he came back. And it was definitely something discussed between him and triple h about being a mentor i think that'll be an aspect of it but the fact that he's then talking about how he wants to main event wrestlemania that's not being a mentor to be fair yeah i know it's a gray area but that 
he did get screwed out of that and it is his story too i just would like to see it not happen right now because of a hype train but if it makes sense do it I, it's my only well, i just yeah just... no i'm not trying to get in that conversation no, I just yeah, mean, yeah. like a mentor would take a back seat to that but that's the thing is like he's not going to be in a full mentor role yet because he still has things that he wants to you know what i mean so yeah, exactly. there's he still wants to main event at WrestleMania because he never got to. 